Here we are looking at um, the Howard Total vise. It started as a gun maker's vise. And I'm going to bring the camera up so you can see me. And this whole system, is, it really is a system. You don't have to buy everything, but I did. It's all modular. Oh, cool. I can take this lower this part out and put this in the bottom and sit down that low and work on something. Oh, cool. To get this out, there's a jam nut on the bottom. These tighten it on the top. Okay. And this jam nut makes it happen. So if I loosen this enough, I can take my neck right out. Now I'm going to swing the camera over a bit. You can see how the fact that it swivels like that is really great. And can you keep it from spinning? Can you lock it lock it into place with one of the one of the set screws there? Oh sure. There's this one on. The oh side. that one. Oh look at that. That's handy. This locks the column at height. I could raise this way up. See. Yeah. Let's see that go up. Oh, cool! Oh, that's a that's a, that's really nice. You can bring. Remember, I'm not bolted to the floor. Yeah. I can stand up. I can see a lot of uses for standing up at this height and saving my back. Yeah, man. There's no doubt. Now I'm going to take the camera and point it that way. Tell me if you're can see what I want you to see. So I have been probably working on this project for four months now, on and off, on and off. I saw this online, called the man, and I have spent days, days helping him make it so it was what I wanted. Now, this is the same deal. It will spin completely around. I wanted a jaw that was wide enough to put a whole guitar into. Yeah. Like you see it right here. And that locks the column here. And I also wanted this, which he had also. This this is not new, the token aspect. Can Look you at imagine that. how this would be for yeah. the neck? Yeah. We're bringing it all the way down, and I can sit here in a chair, scrape bindings. Oh, that's that's pretty slick. So that that whole thing is on a, and it spins up there too. It also does this. Holy moly. And if I put my one of my stools underneath this shoulder with a foam block, yeah. this oh, I can scrape binding. Now if I want to take this out, I can go over and take the gun vise original, which I call a neck vise, take it out. Pretty soon I'm going to have a series of docks along the wall and I'm going to spend the money on it and it's going to have poles of that diameter. I'm going to plop these vices in it. Cool. There's another friend of mine that works with this and I haven't had a chance to call him in all these months because I've been so busy trying to find time to work on this and the Corona. It's John Walker who was, uh, he makes beautiful Gibson style guitars out in Montana and he worked with Ren Ferguson at Gibson for a long time. And soon I'm gonna call John, he knows I'm going to. I think he's outfitted his whole shop with it. He's a guitar builder. Yeah. Now I'm gonna take this 
and move it over to the other bites just because I can. I'd be standing up at this point. Maybe I'd be fitting a neck. Yeah. But I don't have the ability. Oh, that would be great for uh, that would be great for setting necks. It's, I mean, it's just perfect. I mean, I can lower it down. I mean, I could already see like having that like that for pulling sandpaper on on a neck set, Please. like. Like it's always rolling around on the bench and stuff. And we're going to look at what is called the track system. It, it's bolt to my bench. Uh huh. I have kind of a strange bench. It has a lip on the back side. Yeah. So it was a little tough for me to make this as strong as I want to. I've got big blocks of ductless fur behind here. Okay. Now what this what this does. It lets you to slide down. Oh man. Any place on your bench. Oh man. Look at this. Look at this. Man, you know how you know like I like having I like having a vice on my bench, but you know like having a on the bench is like I'm always taking it off and and sticking it somewhere else, taking it off to try to get more room in, in one certain corner of the bench. And this could be really cool. I could see instead of you know taking the vice off the bench, just moving it out of the way on the on the bench there. Oh, that's so slick. So those are two those are two different vice heads, correct? Oh yeah. You want to? Uh, this is the original. It doesn't open that wide. See? Yeah. So the original one was made with gun makers in in mind. So now I can put my neck jig in this if I want to, because I uh -huh. can put the neck jig in my stew max stand on the angle vise. Uh huh. But if I was standing out here, I need to get a wrench and tighten this up. But if I was standing here on the end of the bench, I can now, I could be working in the neck jig and bring it down like this. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah, I can. I can do my jigging, bring it back up here and work on it. I just think that if this fellow doesn't make it big in the guitar business, even with guitar factories, and I plan oh to help God, because I that. know lots of people in guitar factories. Yeah. Uh, so you could put that in the other in the other vice and uh, have you know a lot of people leave their their neck jigs in their vices. Can you stand that straight up and down so it's kind of oh, sure. out of the way? I do. Can you can you show can you show me that really quick? Yeah. I have enough room in my shop just to go throw this on the floor, or sometimes I hang it up. But uh -huh. with this, I can stick it in here in a second, and it's stored. Yeah. And it's you not know, you any floor space. You could put. Uh, oh, it's. I think it's. Uh, you could put it in that other other vice and just you and just tilt tilt the vice, right? Like sure, yeah. Um, this the other vice is is the uh, one that holds the guitar body. Yeah. And so that's pretty slick. Is there anything else on here that you can show me? Is there any other? Yeah. Um. I'm going to take this old Martin out because I need to work on it. 37, single 017. Cool. In really good shape. I think I'm going to sell it. I've saved it to work on and I reset the neck and now I'm going to put the bridge back on. 
but I'm going to use the T.J. Thompson bridge corrector to take a kink out of the top. Cool. That will lower the action a little bit. And this hey, other vise, it won't tilt to the floor. Like No, you have to have this first vise. Uh-huh. Because this tilts. Okay. I do have... He made me... Well, he... That can be added to this, and then it will tilt in all directions. But that's probably more metal than I need. Yeah. And I'm happy with exactly what I have. Well, so... Now here's something else we can do. So what's the... Uh the one that is actually got the uh, like semicircle slots in it. What's that particular this? thing called? Yeah, that is uh, the docking station. Okay. That's so. Tilts. Does he does he have one of those that actually has the post in it? So you could put that in the in the stand. Um. Not really. Okay. This, this goes in the track system. Okay. I, he can give me a two-foot piece of track, and I can put it on the short end of the bench. Ah. Uh -huh. So let's say, uh, here's my next use for it. He has any number of these in, in different shapes. Oh, wow. I'm going to put my grinder on this one. Yeah. And he says, don't do that, because he's got... I'm also going to take this one and put my little scroll saw on it. Yeah. And then I'm going to be able to move that scroll saw, take this over to the wall, and put it in a mount. Right now, the scroll, scroll saw is taking up a ton of space out in my other, in the other part of the shop. Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah, that's a lot of space. And, you know, wheels he, wheels are kind of nice, but they're not that nice. They're always... No, the wheels are only because I didn't want to commit. Yeah. This still is only a, a year. But this thing isn't very heavy. And it's a cheap little thing, simple machinery, but it works. Yeah. I can put that on that stand. And if you can imagine, it'll take me a day or so of cabinet work to make something that looks good that has holes in it i can have my grinder docked along the wall this saw um any number of things that you'd want to bolt to a a plate yeah we're not we're not done yet but wait there's more yeah and here's a quick docking station this can go on any bench you want it Oh, yeah. I forgot one. Yeah, so that just... Yeah, well, anywhere. I, you can take this over to another bench. You just have threaded inserts in the end of your bench and... Well, this I just drilled for, for a 3 8 leg screw. Yeah. I just drilled it and tapped it with the with the screw so now I can bring something that I want to work on over there so now I'm back here it could be anything I wanted I might have all kinds of gas yeah I could put my soldering station on this and some soldering stuff instead of having the traps on all over the bench yeah I can put it in any of the other and this simple little dock and i can have holes in a bunch of benches and move this from bench to bench yeah or, or have one i mean i might spend a lot of money on these to me if you spend a thousand dollars you get an awful lot of hardware from this guy yeah you know i looked at i looked at his prices they're they're very reasonable i Super i was reasonable i was i was pretty surprised considering it's you know uh it's so so usable. Um, to date, I have made four and taken off the jaws he made 
just because the rubber that he had made yeah. marks on the fender neck. So well, that's... This that's, does everything I want to do. Yeah. I'm working back and forth yesterday between this bench over here and this one, and you can clamp. This is great. It's this. It's a fairly low, low vice at the bench compared to the red vice or the green vice. You know, the one from Europe that Stu Max sells one. They call it the repair vice. Uh huh. Yeah, that one sits up pretty tall. And uh, I have mounted them off the end down on a block. I have taken the repair vise and milled off as much metal as I could. But I always come back to the ultimate repair vise. I like the red repair vise. It's awfully tall and there's a lot of hunk of metal in it. This, this replaces that for me. Yeah, you know, uh, I haven't been able to use the Ultimate Repair Vice very much, uh, but in, but in your shop just a little bit, and I like it. But it's I I think I might like this one just a little bit better. But I you uh, know like I'm not an expert on the Total Repair Vice. You, know, you can get you can't get as, the tilt as much as the new vice, but the big deal is you can't buy these. Yeah. Until somebody makes one, if I found one of these, I'd pay a thousand bucks for it. Yeah, it's yeah, that seems worth. This is it's, a, it, it. Seems pretty fair. I've had this for thirty years, and I who, have three of them. Who made the Who made that vice back in the day? This one was made in Texas. That's uh -huh. Michael Stevens' home, and Mike Stevens called me one day and said, man, you got to see this vice that the gun maker in town makes. Mm -hmm. And he sent one to Stu Mac, and I was flabbergasted. Yeah. And his had red urethane in it. And when it all, when it all came down to us buying them, I gave Mike back the one with the red urethane because it was his. He said, no, and I gave it back because it's the coolest one. Then Kesey Kimball died, and this it went away. Then, after a number of years, Stu Mack had them made in Korea or somewhere, but they just weren't as good, and we had a lot of rejects, and one day we just quit. Yep. So I'm thrilled to have three, but now with the Howard Tobel Vice, if I didn't have this, I can still do everything that it does and more. Yeah. A yeah. lot more. Well, so, and you know, with all due respect to your ultimate repair vice, it's just not—it's just not mobile. You know, like you can't. It looks like it's even harder to get off the bench than the uh, the uh, Stu Mac uh, vice. No, it's is. just just the hole going through with the lead screw. It's off in a second. Oh, okay. I dropped one on my foot at Christmas many years ago, and my foot grew up about three times. Oh my god! It was in the snow. I can only oh. imagine. So. The, uh, uh, but I got to say, like, being able to pull the, the vice heads out of the stand and stuff like that, that's, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty special. That's pretty, uh, that's, I mean, I can really see, uh, for myself switching over to this system for sure. Um, it's not switching over to it. It's in addition to anything you have. Yeah. And you probably don't already have anything like that. Now you know I have the uh, I have the red uh, guitar vice, uh, and it's it's okay. But you're right, it's it's really high. Um, it's hard to find a good spot for it. Like it almost needs a whole bench dedicated to it. It's um, got such a huge rail on the back of it. Yeah. It's a giant. Um, there's then there's the Versa vice. You know that Frank Ford is so famous for using and yeah I've had one and then I gave it to my brother just because I had these the uh -huh. Versa Vice is cool but it's really a 
it's not there's nothing like this and nothing like the total race yeah you know uh i guess i guess everybody at griffin uses the versa vice like they're those are on the end of every bench and it's almost kind of uh like it's almost kind of required that you use them for every project it's really handy that are tapered with a tapered neck in it yeah it's really cool i may get one back if my brother's not using it they're, yeah. they're being made again by shop fox everybody sells one there's a the original was the versa vice they're cool and I just don't know if I'll get one because I'm so enthralled with total price. Yeah, I I am pretty excited. I got to lock down my stand, but uh, I'm thinking about get picking up a stand from from Howard too because I really I really like that uh, the raising and lowering part on it. I love it. If I don't ever use all the length of that upper tube, I'll just cut foot of it off yeah and then it won't take so long to get it in and out yeah probably, we'll see but um am i on camera you are yeah you're 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 framed pretty good you might move over to the right just a little bit so um this is just coming off from ian and i on behalf of jeff howard and i'm sold on it and ian's fastly getting sold there's so much you can do. I can. I mean, you have, it takes time to do everything you can do with it. Yeah. I, up with the right urethane, uh, as far as I'm concerned, and Jeff will be putting that on his jaws instead of what he had when I first got it. Because it, it just wouldn't grab the neck enough that it wouldn't move on me. Yeah. And yeah, getting that right material, that's, that's no small task. You this, know, this ultimate vice, I cannot, uh, there's nothing quite like it as far as getting a neck in here and clamping it and working on threads. Uh -huh. You can clamp right close to the top and it's short. Actually, the Howard vice has about this much, much width in it. Yeah. And much deeper at the bottom. Yeah. A lot of people will get a hold of Jeff Howard and say, hey man, I want one of those because he's, uh, a hard-working guy he's making this stuff yeah no I'm he's building it he's painting it and uh he likes to say it's made in the usa I think he's a gun maker i gotta clean the shop big time but i'm probably gonna go downstairs and make a little teeny jack for cory that'll go in a uke oh <laughs> you're you're uh you got quite the jack operation going on it's uh it's still in it's really i want to make some that are uh, presentation models. Yeah. I want to turn some walnut or Brazilian or curly maple and put some brass fittings. I think that'd be cool, man. You know, just like I think if you if you dress them up and you do a little like little you know plating or something like that, like I think it could be really cool. They're cool without all that. Yeah, I know. I it know. Just, it's, when you need it. It doesn't take a lot of room, and it does what you want. Well, when I come out there next time, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get you to sign mine, so people will know where it came from. I haven't sh shipped any yet, because now what I'm doing is um, I'll show you. Can you see that? Yep. What I need to do is drill a hole in the bottom. This hole is at an angle. Uh huh. And it's threaded. This is the original one. And I just got some uh, nice stiff nylon quarter inch flexible and I'm going to put a 632 threaded screw in there so you can screw into it and that holds it while you're trying to position it. You can shove it around. Oh, cool. So it'll be a whole outfit. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's the downside with most of those is trying to get them into place and manipulate them. I well, this one, if you get a powerful magnet on the outside wrapped in cloth so as not to scratch it stands yep. right up yeah because they all have a little magnet in the bottom what's the uh what's the tube you're using there is that conduit or what what is that this here yeah that's what comes from Stu mac with the scissor jack oh no, no no i mean the uh what's holding the uh 
What's the barrel of the of the jack there? Is that? That's just aluminum tubing. Yeah. Okay. I've been making them out of nylon because it's easier to machine and drill. Yeah. Um, it doesn't make the difference. I've got some brass. I think I'm going to make some out of brass just because it's so pretty. Yeah. But it tarnishes. Are you are you taking videos of you making these things? Not yet. I think we should get some of that too. Oh, we will. When I'm ready to really let everybody know if they want one. Here's a cool guitar, though. Oh, that is cool. It's European. I don't know exactly what it is. I just bought it. Look at that peghead. I know. It. Is that is that one piece plastic or is that some kind of mosaic or? It's one piece plastic taped off and spray paint. Oh, fancy! But it has a little spray edge to it that melts out and looks cool. That's cool. I probably spent too much for it, but it's a spruce top. Yeah. I'm going to fix it up and sell it. Cool. I was into keeping these because they look cool, but anymore I've decided I'm going to get tools. I think I think that's a good move. I need, to do, I, can, I need to do the same thing. I don't need all guitars I don't play. I'm not, I'm not even in a band anymore. Yeah. I'm going to sell my Tone King. That old amp. That's this I got at the NAMM show in 93 from Mark Bartell, who made these Tone King amps. Those were all the rage for a while. Is he still in business? Oh, it's, a, oh, it's a bigger business now. I think he still has his name on it and started his own business. Uh -huh. No, they're going great guns. Yeah. I bought this one. Then I bought the big Meteor, which I sold to Eric. This guitar kicks butt. I mean, yeah. this amp is just wonderful, but I don't need it. You know, Buzzy's got a mess of those. He's pretty big into those. Of Tone Kings, like the ones that look under on legs? Yeah. He's got one of those for sure. He's got one that looks like a little TV, too. Yeah, they're cool. But they're, they were killer hand-wired amps. Yeah. And I walked through the NAMM show with my buddy from Fender, Albert Garcia, killer player. Grew up with Los Lobos guys. Mm -hmm. I said, "Help me find an amp," and we just walked all around and we tried a bunch of amps, and we hit this one. You were hanging out with Los but Lobos. Well, I know those guys, but Albert, my buddy Albert, was raised with them. They grew up Hispanics. Yeah, I know Cesar. He yeah. always said he's going to come out. He wants to come out and take some guitar repair lessons but he's never done it oh man that would be fun wouldn't it they're great musicians oh my god they're so good they're so good like i i, I forget about them all the time and then when i throw them on i was i'm always like oh my god you guys you're just you're just too good david Hildago. i'm gonna go I, i'm gonna you know what i just realized i haven't listened to him in a long time and i'm gonna i'm gonna start cranking that up here today while I'm working. Go do it. Okay. Hey, Dan, thanks Thanks for hanging out, man. You're welcome. Thanks for doing it. You bet. I'll, I'll talk to you later. I bet we'll sell some. Bye. All right. Take care.